Hello and welcome to Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes Grand Arena Championships, Season 11, Week 2, Round 2. My name is Boma Fett. I'm currently 4-0 this season, so let's take a look at who my opponent is this round. Hostile. Something tells me they're not friendly. Okay, so we're just going to do a very abbreviated look at their roster. Okay, so you can see here that they're using Padme in the arena and a six-star Malevolence in the fleet arena. But look at that comp. It's Houndstooth and a couple of Geos. So let's take a look at the ship inventory. You can see that the Vulture Droid is only three stars and the Hyena Bomber is only four stars. So the Malevolence fleet is going to be suboptimal. However, Take a look at this. There is a five-star negotiator with a Relic Kenobi. So I suspect one of these will go on offense and one will go on defense. And so I'm going to save my negotiator for offense. Let's take a look at the character roster. You can see here that Hostel has 15 Relic characters, which is exactly the same as what I have. Actually, I think this is showing 16. Uh, but at the time that they locked their roster, they had 15. So that's the same as I have. Gear 12 characters uh, at the time of lock was 21, which is almost double what I have. Um, not quite double. Gear 11s, there are fewer gear 11s than what I have. So gear 11 and above, I actually have an advantage. If I scroll all the way down to the bottom here, you can see we've got Mando, 3PO and Chewie, the Resistance Heroes, Mon Mothma, uh, Grief Karga, Cara Dune, Admiral Piet. So a lot of those are brand new characters, and so it's not unusual to see them under geared. Scrolling up a bit more, we can see at gear seven, we've got Zalbar and Wampa. We've got BB-8. Gear 8, we've got Mission. So seeing both Mission and Zalbar down here, that tells me no Malik. Gear 8, we also have Sith Trooper. Uh, Droidica. B2 is at gear 9. So there are definitely some key undergeared characters. Uh, but also there are missing characters, not just Darth Malik. But Jedi Knight Revan, Hostel does not have Jedi Knight Revan or Jedi Training Ray, So some definite holes in this roster. All right, let's take a look at the defenses. Up top here, we've got Bosk Bounty Hunters. We've got Knight Sisters. And we've got Bastila Jedi. Remember, no Jedi Knight Revan. In the bottom zone, we've got General Grievous with Watt. So there are no relics on this squad, but putting Watt there does make General Grievous considerably tougher. And then we've got a Hux First Order squad. So even though he's got the relic Kylo Ren unmasked, he's chosen to go with Hux for the leadership. So I'm going to have to look up Hux's leadership and find out exactly what that is and why you would put that on defense. Um, if it works really well, I may switch my own first order to a Hux leadership. So I'm going to go make a plan and I will come back. I can already tell right now my biggest concern because none of these squads up front look that scary to me. My biggest concern is that he's hidden something really good in the back. And so if I waste my best squads up front, I could be in for a big surprise. Okay, so what at first glance looks like not a great defense actually has me a little bit stumped because I'm really worried that Darth Revan or Padme or Palpatine or CLS or Treya, one of those squads, is going to be in the back zone. And if that happens, and I've already used my Padme and my Jedi Knight Revan, I'm in trouble. 
Okay, this Grievous is not very scary at all. So I think I might try Shock T here against Grievous. All right, let's get experimental. With my Gear 8 Six Star Arc Trooper. All right, well, we play this game to have fun, right? So let's have fun. See if we can get some stuns here. No, no stuns. Wow. Okay, there's our sacrifice, but we got rid of the taunt so that when the Rexecute comes around, we can target Grievous. Let's see if we can get rid of Wat Tambor before he gives out any more tech. Hold on, Shock. One more round till the execute. Oh, and there goes Shock T. Bye-bye, Grievous. Okay, that was not pretty. It was only 51 banners. But it was just shock clones against that. I didn't have to waste one of my big two squads. Now, I don't anticipate that he would put two of those really good squads in the back. I think probably I'll see Geonosians and Junk in the back, but maybe not. Maybe I'll get one of those squads there. So I think I can probably use Padme against this First Order. Okay, here we go. And Hux is down. 
get rid of Executioner next. Get rid of the Taunt. Get rid of that Foresight. See if we can get a stun here. Healing immunity there. Let's get retribution. Take out Kylo. Oh, we didn't. Can Barris do it? That was embarrassing for Kylo Ren. I don't have uh, stacks. up. AOE. Twenty stacks on Barris Offie. Let's see if this does it. No, it didn't. I think that uh, Kylo Ren is immune to the stacks, isn't he? Because he takes reduced damage from percent health tax. All right, 58 banners. Let's see if my fears were justified. What is in the back? Okay, we have Nuke Gunray Separatists and we have Geonosians. I can deal with that. Against these Geos, I'll take my Treya plus Nest. We will isolate the Brute. Nest, you've got a counterattack. Okay, let's increase cooldowns. Let's put the pain out there. And there's Spy. Let's see if we can stun Spy. Nope. See if we can kill Spy. There we go. Okay, hold on, Scion. Uh, I could increase cooldowns again. Yeah, might as well. Let's go Poggle. And we'll do the AoE. And this should take out the Alpha. Oh, not quite. Okay, this should take out the Alpha. There we go. Get rid of Sunfac. And get rid of Soldier. 58 banners there. And against the Newt Gunray squad, 
Well, this is Newt with Droidica and Nest. Let me come back to this one. Up in the front. We're going to go against Bastila with our Jedi Knight Revan squad. And there's a feat where you need to use Revan, Jolie, Bastila, and Juhani. So I'm going to throw Juhani in here, even though she's gear eight. So I kind of expect her to die, and that's okay. I should still be able to win this battle. Uh, we are going to mark Grandmaster Yoda. He's really the only threat on this squad. Um, we need to get rid of Juhani, though. Or not Juhani. We need to get rid of Jolie, though, because he can revive. So I wasn't really thinking. There goes old Ben. And now Juhani is taunting. Let's spread the buffs. Go after Jolie. Bye bye, Juhani. Oh, now here's my Juhani. I think she can stun. Oh, she's not going to, though. With the protection up, the protection up will prevent the stun. Um, so, what does this do? Mm. It can't be evaded, but it can be resisted. So we'll just do a basic. Look at that. He brought back the whole team. That's why I wrote the song about Jolie. If you haven't listened to it, you should go listen to it. All right, let's get rid of Yoda real quick. Now let's get rid of Jolie. Okay, sixty banners. Um, that was an easy battle. I just was had a brain fart and forgot to kill Jolie first. So, and then I got stuck behind the taunts. Okay, against the Night Sisters, we are going to take our first order with Watt, which I don't know if I've got that squad on here. I have it on my 3v3. Here's my first order. We'll take out Officer and we'll put in Watt Tambor. Put the Taunting Tech on Unmasked. And the weapons tech on Executioner. And then we will give this to Unmasked. And he can stun Zombie. A turn meter. And go to work. She looks pretty squishy. I wonder if we can just kill her. Close. Okay, there's the plague. We'll go ahead and kill Spirit. I'm 
stuck behind the taunt. Okay, I need to heal. Is that the first one? Apply heal over time twice on all allies. Mother Talzin. See if we can kill Asajj. And now Daka. I'm gonna kill Zombie a few times, see if I can get Watt healed up. Okay, Watt's all healed. Let's go back over here. I don't really need to give this to anybody. Sixty banners. Okay. So now I've got my Palpatine Vader squad, I've got my CLS squad, I've got my Geonosians. I think I'm going to do CLS here. Oh, and I also have Jedi Training Ray. Let's go ahead and do CLS here. I think I can go undersized. Stun Bosk. Uh, Cad Bane looks pretty squishy. Let's take out Cad Bane quickly. Should we go Django? Oh, Cad looks really squishy. Let's see if we can stun Boba Fett. Nope. Uh, let's try again. Nope. Uh, an ability block? Okay, on everybody except Boba Fett. There we go, there's Cad Bane. Um, yeah, let's do this. There's one kill on Boba. Let's see if we can stun Bosk again. Another kill on Boba. And bye bye Django. And there's the banner stealer. Get a stun. A 
ability block. Bye bye, Bosk. Bye bye, Dengar. 60 banners there. And which fleet is in the back? We've got Negotiator. Okay. Let me check and see what feats I've completed. Okay, staying strong. Oh, see, I should have claimed that earlier, probably. I got the Old Guard. And Tactical Advance. See, this is a problem with this feat system, is I think I completed that earlier in the match, but because I didn't claim it right away, it didn't go to number two. See how it says one of two? So the territory that I just completed won't count on the next one because I didn't claim the feat. All they need to do is have a pop-up. Just like there's a pop-up when you make it to Chromium or Bronzium or Erodium, right? Give a pop-up for any feat. Because I usually don't back out of my battles to claim feats. Okay, against this Newt Gunray squad, um... Typically against Newt Gunray, the Geonosians is a really good counter. Um, but I'm a little concerned with Droidica and New uh, Droidica and Nest in there. But I'm a little concerned with Droidica and Nest in there. So, and I've got my Palpatine squad, so I might as well go EP Vader and Sith Trooper. We'll start with a Force Crush. And Merciless. Now oh, look at this. Vader just destroys... I could have soloed that with Darth Vader. Although, actually, maybe not, because Vader gains speed for having Empire and Sith on his squad. And so if I had taken Vader in solo, he would have been much, much slower and may not have gotten the first move. Okay, we'll take my negotiator against his negotiator. This is exactly why I saved my negotiator. Kind of a strange comp over there with, uh, with Biggs. But I guess he wanted to save the Houndstooth for offense. That's what I would assume. Bye-bye, Biggs. Uh, the big hit might kill both of them. And I might not get great banners. Hopefully five stays alive and I can bring in Plo Koon for the heal. Okay, good. Here comes Plo. We'll heal up.
What does this do? Spell B debuffs on target ally. Um, well, grants taunt. So let's put the taunt here on Houndstooth. And bring in Snips. And take out fives. And this should do it. Oh, not quite. This should do it. Okay, 67 banners. So 1927 is my final score. Uh, turns out I was concerned about what was in the back for nothing. And I probably could have gotten even better banners if I had not, uh, not been so concerned about saving my best squads for the back. But that's okay. We will come back tomorrow and we'll see... We will come back tomorrow and we'll see how Hostile does against my defense. All right, so you can see that I did get the win against Hostile. Let's take a look at what happened. So he attacked. I thought he might have trouble getting through my Darth Revan, but he didn't. One shot on Darth Revan, Darth Malak. One shot on Grievous. Up at the top here. One against the Bounty Hunters. One against Newt Gunray but two against my night sisters. In the back, one shot against my fleet, which wasn't at all a surprise. Here in the back, one shot against that terrible, terrible bounty hunter squad that I set, but then couldn't beat my phoenix. Only took one try, but didn't get anywhere. So I'd like to say thank you to Hostel for the match. And thank you to all of you for watching. I'll see you next round.